Hey. How do you do? What are you all fucked up for?
Okay, boy. Let's go. Yep. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> If he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on. We need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come Robin with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? <laughs> what the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! <laughs> Abyssal boys are coming! Pearson. Oh, looking forward to the funeral. I'm 
I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door. There. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey! I said, is everyone accounted for? I don't know. I think. You call her now, you no good bastard! Taking that O'Driscoll in. Shut up, Marston, you sick.
We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler. Oh, no, they don't. Okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. <sighs> Kieran, that poor kid we spared from O'Driscoll's gang up in the mountains is dead. They chopped his head off and tried to kill the lot of us. The whole place gives me the creeps. I can't believe those pigs did that to him. Again? 
He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. Mr. Smith? I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. Morning to you. You okay? Yes. Just thinking about Kieran. Yes. Hello? He was always living on borrowed time. Maybe. You okay, Uncle? I'm keeping my head, which is more than we can say for Kieran. Straight in there with the joke, sir. This has all gotten a little crazy. We need to find where those O'Driscolls are at and go hit them back. I don't know. I ain't sure that's the right move. That's enough for me. Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but uh, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan. Will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, L.G. Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And? That's it. They're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay.
Hi. Good morning. It'll be okay, Molly. Okay? How is any of this okay? Karen and Sean are dead. Dutch is hardly speaking to me. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. <laughs> 